So what I'm going to share with you today are a couple of totes and bags that I've purchased from Spellbinders at extremely low prices. And I do believe that they still have some of these items available. And I will link you to these items in the description area right underneath this video. And instead of just doing an unboxing, I thought that I would show you how I'm using these items. And even though I don't travel to crops, the only crafty place that, uh, or crafty convention that I ever travel to is Creativation in Arizona. Um, other than that, I really don't travel with my crafting items and so um but i still need a spot to put some of these items in i have a siberian husky and she sheds 365 okay she sheds in clumps and even though she's really not allowed to come into my craft room, sometimes she makes it in here. And some of the items um, get some of her little fur balls. So for me, this is an answer to keeping um, my crafting items for free. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get right to it. As you can see, I've purchased the big Fun Stampers Journey tote along with the medium sized one. And I'm calling it the medium sized one because it's really not small at all. And I will go ahead and open these up in just a moment. But I want you all to see just uh, how big, how huge these items are. And these are good quality items. $14 and change doesn't get any cheaper than that. You know, I. I can't walk into a Tuesday morning and find traveling bags as low priced as these. Okay, so first we have this big kahuna right here. It has a spot for um, your business card. It has a little pocket over here, I guess, for your passport. And this opens up like so. And let me just show you how tall it is and it's pretty big y'all and as you can see this is quite wide and uh, you have two pockets right along there right here and one big side pocket now we also have this part right here for lifting and what i'm keeping here is my we are memory keepers um, scoreboard which is also a cutting board so I'm glad that I can fold this up and put it right in here I normally keep my scoring boards my cutting uh, my trimmers and everything on the floor right next to my desk so they're easily accessible to me and this way we are keeping all those fur and dust bunnies out of there so over here along this side, we have the same exact type of pocket. It's a pretty deep and wide pocket. And right along here, we have more pockets and this other handle over here. And in the front, we have another pocket where I'm keeping my card making guillotine. All righty. And right along here, this closure is a Velcro closure. And as you can see, it is deep enough to put a um, We Are Memory Keepers guillotine right along there. And over here, it has this pretty fun Stamper's Journey um, emblem. And this part over here is a zipper part. And it's a double zipper part I just like to use one of the zippers and as you can see it is extremely well padded it is a very well padded um, cover and uh, I would think this is to help protect your items inside and over here we have this velcro part that I guess you can put something along in there and um, lock it in place 
with that. And let me move the camera back down. And right in here, I'm keeping my We Are Memory Keepers cinch machine. And um, I'm keeping this other trimmer in there. Plus, I'm keeping my Martha Stewart 12 inch scoreboard. We have pockets, more pockets, pockets, just a whole bunch of pockets with Velcro closures so that you can keep more crafty items inside. So as you can see, you can easily keep your 12 inch scoreboard in there and we have enough room for a um, Spellbinders Platinum machine. And um, yeah, so that's what I like to keep in there. So this one is the carry-on tote and it is a pretty large tote. And I believe the price right now for this one is like $14 and change. And if I had more space, I would have gotten a second one because it is so super useful. Um, over here, we have pockets. Sorry about that. <laughs> over here, we have pockets where you can keep more items and it does come with a strap but I don't see me using the strap because this as it is is heavy it's a heavy duty um, tote and we have a open pocket right along there with lots of uh, places areas where you can keep your important items and we have this other area over here, and this is where I'm keeping um, uh, my little props for when I take my pictures. And the same thing over here. So these are very, very useful items. The next thing that I'm going to share with you is this other item that I got. This is like a little pencil pouch thing and um, it's not filled up with anything yet. I'm just keeping items like, sorry, I'm just keeping items like my... Um, Accessories for the tool in one and for the spellbinders prism. Those are just tiny little platforms. But these came this bag right here came in a larger plastic bag that I thought would be useful as well. And that one I'm keeping over here. Now this particular bag is not for sale. I got this tote from Spellbinders. In fact, I have two of these. The other one is in the garage and this is where I keep my platforms and so my die cutting platforms. And this plastic bag is the bag that this came in. So instead of throwing it away, you could reuse it. It's a Ziploc, good quality bag and I'm just keeping some of my cutting platforms in there and I'm gonna show you another thing that I got and I don't know if they've already sold out of these I know that these are available in the Spellbinders green and also in the uh, white canvas and basically what this is is just the cover for when you're not uh, using your Spellbinders Platinum and it does have a closure it is a velcro closure that you use it with and it was so inexpensive that I went ahead and got it and sorry about that that's my laptop
see in the shadow. Okay, and the last thing that I got that I thought were absolutely cute were these poofy stickers. I know I got some the last time, and because they were so super cute, I went ahead and got some more. These were like a buck and change. And, excuse me, I got these. I don't know if these were sold out already, but I will go ahead and link you to these in the area underneath this video if they're still available. And I also got this from Fun Stampers Journey at the Spellbinders website. It's supposed to be a bookmark, but I'll be honest with you, I wasn't happy when I saw the um, packaging. I mean, to me, this packaging is kind of cheap. <laughs> you know, for a company like Spellbinders, and I think that they could have done better. But then again, you know, it's just the packaging. But uh, yeah, this is a bookmark that I got. I believe it was something like 99 cents at the time. And I got this for one of my journals. I thought it was really, really cute. It says today. And it has a little uh, keychain. Yeah. So I thought this was really cute, and it didn't cost much. It was, I think it was a buck. But, you know, even still, even if it was a buck, this is like, this is Spellbinders, you know. They shouldn't be, well, I suppose because it was Fun Stamper's journey at the time, you know. But you would expect better packaging than this. But, like I said, it's Fun Stamper's journey, and for a buck. I'm not going to complain. But yeah, um, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have found this haul video useful. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think of the items that I got in the, in the description in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for watching my videos, subbing to my channel, and I will see you once again real soon. Bye!